This video is the beginning of Nightingale through character creation, the tutorial, getting started and all the way up to and beyond the first boss and traveling into different realms. But what is Nightingale? It's a game that is a gas lamp fantasy, which means basically Victorian steampunk with fairies and giants and all sorts of fantastical beasts and animals. Picture that kind of thing and you're halfway there. We're gonna be going through portals, think Stargate, into other realms and exploring them. Is it any good? We'll find out together. It's currently got mixed reviews on Steam, so it's not being amazingly well received, but I'm having a good time. So if you wanna have some fun, hit like and subscribe and enjoy this video. The character creator is an odd one. I'm not sure how to describe it as to whether it's good or bad or not. The characters are all quite ugly. And by ugly, I don't mean to body shame. I mean that they look like Pixar bullies. Um, they have an odd feel to them, which is somewhere between Uncanny Valley and Trolls, but we did our best with it anyway. You can also pick your entire lineage, your parents, your parents' parents, your grandparents' parents' parents' parents for some reason. You then choose your backstory, which doesn't seem to have much effect on anything, and you're in the game. So that's where we're going to pick things up. Um, if you are new here, subscribe. I love taking first looks at new games, indie games, cozy games, and games you've never heard of. But let's begin our adventure in Nightingale. Before time itself, the realms have existed. Born of curiosity, we opened the first gateway to our endless Feywilds. The Fey have long since aided men in harnessing that which we live and breathe. Magic. Tolerance was known until your grasp extended reach. Greed, in the face of power, saw your world caught in ruin. And out flowed the pale, swallowing all in its path. Some fled its ever-spreading tongue, seeking refuge in Nightingale. Only to be severed from assistance as the pathway between realms collapsed. But ah, perhaps not all is lost. For Nightingale still stands, pushing forward towards progress and enlightenment, humanity's final beacon. Your path thither is winding and full of terror's nascent realm walker. Wilt thou succumb to fey lands beyond thy wit? Or wilt thou endure, find the way homeward and rebuild anew? Ah, let my words steer your steps. And we're in. Our first steps in Nightingale. Let's take a quick look in here. Yeah, it does seem a little quiet. I'll do it on my fader instead, a bit quiet in places. Reduce player breath sounds. Interesting, in case you don't want heavy breathing in your ear. You're welcome. Uh, enable voice chat. Push to talk. I don't think I'm going to run into people randomly, but we'll see. A voice effect? <gasps> what? Dr Hang on. Can I test it? Can I see what I sound like? Hello? Hello. Oh no. Um, That's terrifying. terrifying. That's what people would hear. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Demon ASMR. Demon ASMR. Sounds terrible. Sounds terrible. I'm a robot. I'm a robot. Jesus. That's awful. Hello? Hello? Terrible. Male to female. Terrible. Male to female. Me as a girl? Me as a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Me as a chipmunk. Me as a chipmunk. What does it do? Does it do? Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Drunk. Drunk. <laughs> Am I drunk? Am I drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Why does it actually sound like I'm drunk? Why does it actually sound like I'm drunk? 
That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh man. Oh man. Squeaking. Squeaking. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel. 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 I'm a little squirrel. I'm a little squirrel. I'm a little squirrel. I'm a little squirrel. You, or as Americans, yeah, as Americans say, say, squirrel. Squirrel. Wow. Wow. I think we'll go I with. I think we'll go with. No. no. Oh God, my own, hearing my own voice was just as bad. To be honest with you, no, thank you. Right. Punch. It's F two. It's just my other hand, I think. How now, fleshling? Whither wander you, lost in our Feywilds? Yeah. Mm. Show haste, human. Quickly, before those bound fiends sniff out your despair. Shadows abound, yet like a fire's <clears throat> final embers, you refuse to be snuffed out. Kind of sounds a bit like, um, Jeremy Irons. I come with an offer to guide you to a safer realm and rebuke death, unlike so many of your kin. Actually, not Jeremy Irons, John something. Oh, I can't remember his name. Someone will know in the comments, I mean. Okay. A gu guide me Take to the safe these bloodstained cards. Play them and let amiable bond be drawn between Fay and Fleshling. Give me your hands that we may be friends. And I shall restore amends. Oh, hurry yonder toward portal and apparatus so you, bare child of Earth, might abscond this nightmare. Travel to the forest byway swiftly. Across the divide, a greater gift awaits. Partnerships with we Fay afford many wonders yet unseen. So you sort of... Oh, that was a nice little jig that you did there. A little bit of Swan Lake. So you've given me some cards. Open the realm card machine. <gasps> a bar! Forest, yes, play the bear. And I, I wonder if everyone gets the same starting card. Play this card to seek a realm lushed with forest. The first discovered realms are lush forest, misleading Red Cross Knights into believing the Feywild were analog to Earth's habitats. How wrong they were. And we have this major card, which is a byway. Seek a small transient realm. Diminutive wilds exist that serve as pathways between larger realms, like a secret passage between two glades from the Fey Red Cross Knights land they were called byways. I mean, loving the vibe. I really hope this game is good because I've been covering it for a while just because I like the kind of the idea and like uh, gaslight, steampunky, you know, it's kind of and all of this magic stuff. So I hope the game is good. I'm going to be brutally honest with it as we go through it. Um... Let's find out. Fly, Realm Walker. The fiends have caught your despairing stench. Oh. Ah. The fiends. I don't smell. But I do despair. Why, I don't, I don't get to come out of a cool portal? I just... Oh, deer. I love deer. Park. Well, I don't get to, like, walk through a stargate. I just uh, spawn in the middle of nowhere. A baby deer. So cute. Hi. Count thyself among the fortunate few who manage to flee the pale's noxious proliferation. Hmm. Nightingale still stands, but Earth teeters on the brink. And these wilds are far from hospitable. Sequestered so and struck by woe begs the question, Wilt thou be a survivor? Already am a survivor, mate, but I tell you what, we could do without Earth, couldn't we? Teetering on the brink, maybe we just let it go, and we'll just build a nice little cabin here and hang out with deer, 
you know? I mean, it wouldn't be that great of a loss to the cosmos, let's be honest. The gift I promised should aid thy cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch. Purloined off the corpse of a realm walker. Keep these like close companions. Purloined. Okay. With the man-made network sundered. Entrust me to find the trail forward through these byway realms. In the interim, I hear your stomach snarling. Take reprieve from misery and gorge yourself with a feast fit for a fleshling. Preserve yourself and I shall return anon. Oh, under this mask you wonder. I am Puck. Robin to some. Oberon's merry wanderer of the night, the last furtive fay to grace your kind. Like, what is fay's natural tongue and language? Because if you're speaking English for my benefit, speak plainly, son, you know? Why would you learn how to speak English and then use so many big words? Hmm? If you want the humans to understand you, darling. Go on, off your ballet pop. It's, um, it's giving show-off. I'm just saying, it's, wow. I mean, it's pretty. It's, pr oh, there's a portal. It's pretty, pretty. I'll, uh, it's prettier than I was expecting from videos that I've seen, honestly. Gorgeous. Oh, I could do with a few days somewhere like this, let me tell you. Hmm. I love looking out at the water. Interesting sky stuff happening. Very pretty. I feel like I've got one of those cheap TikTok shop space lights on. What's this then? I guess to go through to another realm? Hi, baby. It's okay, I'm a good human. I won't hurt you. As long as the tutorial doesn't tell me to. Open realm card machine. So if you wanted to, if you had more playable cards, you'd go through here, I think, to another place. Is that sun actually going down? It might be. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Oh my god, my head's too small. Do you know what? It's probably for the best that I can't see myself in third person. From behind, not too bad. From the front, no thank you. Um, let's see. Didn't you say I had a feast or something? Hashtag no context. I guess I better find some food. Not you, don't worry. I'll find some fruit or something. Watch this be a really peaceful, tiny tutorial island, and then he'll be like, here's another card for you, and send me through to somewhere terrible. There's gonna be a tricksy one. Do I have something in my pack? I thought... He said I had food. Well, that he's given me something. Yeah, this is a tiny little island. I'm hungry. Am I gonna die? I have three health down there. Is that a three? Babies, I need food. What's this? A hope echo. Sambungan. Telegrams, tell tales. There's no time for reading. I would love to read that to you softly right now, but if I don't eat something, there'll be no reading for anybody ever again. No words to be shared. Where is the food in this place? Berries! Eat! Eat it. Eating food replenishes hunger. If your hunger drops too low, you begin losing health. <gasps> okay. There we go. I 
save my life. Gather what you can from the environment and build a campfire. Can I go back and read that thing I picked up now? I don't know. Um, gather what you can from the environment and build a campfire. Rocks, sticks, and raw berries. Okay. Is this a tree punching? Perhaps we need to make a tool of some kind. And the sticks here. Rocks is what we need. Perhaps they'll be on the beach. Some little ones here. We love a little survival game. Okay, so I've got the rocks now. And now I just need some raw berries. Need five of them. Trois, quatre, cinq. Build a campfire. Press B to open the guidebook. We'll have a nice little fire down on the beach. Campfire. Little beach campfire by the sun. Used to cook, refine, or craft items. Workbenches and other stations have multiple interaction points. Wait. Interact with the fire pit of the campfire to manage the fuel and the flame. Interact with the cooking pot to begin cooking. Select your recipe and ingredients. Press craft to cook. Okay. Very nice. I'm going to cook some roast berries. Hell yeah. with the magic. Interesting. Are these done? Okay. And I can just eat them. They're saying a mukbang. What you watching me for? Ah. Uh. You've avoided embarrassment by staving off starvation. It wasn't that embarrassing. From the lingering scent, your meal was no summer court banquet. But at least you persist. We must carry forth whilst this byway is aligned with another. One which should get us closer to necessities we'll both require. The portal stands nearby. Delay not, for the withering sands await. So they are going to send me through to somewhere else. Dun 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 Well, goodbye, pretty little island. I was hoping I'd get to spend more time with you and the lovely deer running around here, but apparently... Apparently, I'm off to whoever is next. Never been on live television before? Um, oh, hello. Sort of a interesting pose there, isn't it? Shame I don't have a telescope. Hmm. Uh, well, here we go. Into the next realm. A desert biome. Play this card to seek a realm of arid desert. Bygone geo-arcanists frequented deserts, relishing sunlight, playing across the sands to give the illusion of unending horizons. Long ago forsaken by the Fae, yet vestiges remain. And it's another byway. Might get to enjoy looking at this one without fiends up my butt this time. Look at that. I mean, I remember seeing Stargate, the film, in cinemas. So magical. Never got into the TV show, but, you know, the idea of gates and portals is an attractive one. Would really love there to be some kind of awesome portaling animation there, kind of a and like, going through it rather than straight to a loading screen. Should be something that they work on, I think. Thinking of all the cool sort of music and sounds you could get rather than just 
this screen with silence is a little bit underwhelming. Since it seems like we just spawn in place. We just appear. We don't actually walk out of a portal. There's no effect. That's definitely something that needs to be worked on. I'm too hot. I have to stand in the shade. Look. Too hot. Hot damn. Got the police and the fireman. Look at those shoes. What are those, Puck? Oh my god. Summer runs through <laughs> my being as blood runs through yours. Those Yet I've seen my that crocs. you men call sweat flow like rivers in our deserts. This heat devours spirit and life alike. Those are my crockets. Those are my gator slippers. How be it? Enduring the elements is part of the Realm Walker's folly. Pleasure sought through vanquishing hostility. Whether this pleases or not, without shelter and the means to defend it. Sure. This, this guy is long-winded, you know? It's not like we get it, okay? You read a few books, man. Build a stick tent. Oh my god, it's a tree creature. A spindly ent spider. Are you friendly? I'm friendly. You probably haven't seen one of my kind for a long time, huh? Are you chill? I think you're chill. That's actually... I mean, what's... I'm not going to ask about that thing that's hanging. you got two of them. I think it ugh, brushed my face as you went past, you creep. Alright. I mean, that's interesting. That's cool. Hopefully we see all manner of crazy beasts in this. Like, real variety in creatures, both friendly and not, is what this needs, and I'm looking forward to exploring that. What's this? Got some automatons here? What's happening? A stick tent. I need, uh... More sticks, apparently. Did I? Well, okay, hang on. Down here seems quite nice for a little home. Okay, more sticks required. Lucky me, there's some right here. Okay. So, uh, why are you not made? Ah! Being underneath shelter shields realm walkers from certain environments, such as heat, rain, hail, build a bedroll underneath the tent. Oh, a little bedroll to sleep in there, darling. My bed is made of sticks. In my day, my bed was made of sticks. I had a stone for a pillow. I recently bought new bed sheets um, and pillowcases, and I spent a bit more money because it's bed. You spend so much time in bed. I'm a big believer in that. Like I have like a pretty huge bed and like spent a lot on it and the mattress a long time ago. They probably need a new one. And so I finally spent some money on bed sheets. <sighs> it's like getting into a hotel bed. Oh my God, I love it so much. And the pillowcase, when I get in, like every night, I'm just so grateful and thankful when I get into bed and my face goes on the pillow and I go, hmm. I'm just like, yes, happy. It's cool. It's soft. And that was like, my goal was to make it like a um, hotel uh, bed. Sorry, amenities, light, heat, furniture, increased comfort level, higher comfort level, adds varying levels of bonuses to health. Okay, so we buff when we sleep. Okay, so they're giving you a reason to decorate your home. Resting requires minimum comfort level. Building the bedroom or the shelter meets necessary requirements. Okay, cool. Um... But yeah, just so... It's worth it. It's worth it. And it wasn't crazy money. It wasn't crazy money. It was just, like, off Amazon. Um, just got some nice-looking sheets that said they were good and had good reviews. Oh, so... Just so nice. And it's not like... Um, you know, like, some people have, like, silk sheets? You feel like you're gonna, like, slide off them or something. They're, like, normal sheets, but really soft and nice. And I'm thankful every time I get into bed. I'm like, yes, this was a good purchase. <laughs> I don't treat myself often, but when I do, it's nice to um, have it pay off, you know? Nothing worse than trying to treat yourself to something and it doesn't work. And you're like, oh, that was a bloody waste. Well, I'm a short rest. I think I need some food. Struggling for food here. 
constantly hungry. I wonder if we'll find any food in a desert just about the place. So we need to make a pick. I think. Yeah, it wants me to make tools now. So we'll start with a pick. No benches required to craft. Okay, and a sickle. A stick wood axe. Oh, okay. So I need more sticks and stuff. Little tutorial realms. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go and chop the dangly bits off of the stick man. <laughs> I thought you were a friend. You chopped off my dangly bit. Hello. I'm very uh, expensive looking teapot. Picking up aloe seeds. Aloe, aloe. Oh. Making some noise. What was that? Guys, we need food. Can I drink water? I'm wet. Okay. Uh, maybe if I just, like, make... What I need to make my little head. Oh my god. I hope I can remake my character because I look like Beetlejuice in that one scene, mate. Bloody hell. Right. Finish making these. Da -da 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 Hunting knife. And torch was the other one, wasn't it? What's going on with this fellow? Oh, and the sickle is the last thing I need to make. Sickle. Um, sickle. Another plant fiber and sticks. I'm starving to death, man. Why does every survival game go way too hard on the, like, hunger and thirst when they first come out? It's like Ark did this as well. just, like, dying constantly. Um, sickle. Please. Deaf, I'm so hungry apparently. Right. Ah! Got any food? It slipped my skull that Earth's great citadels resulted from decades of toil. Still, I expected more than that lowly truss of sticks and the haphazard cudgel you now hold. Alright, Judgy. You'll need better woodworking skills than that when we reach our destination proper. It affords the perfect setting for... Well, we shan't ruin the surprise. I'll need better woodworking skills when we reach our destination. The proper setting for... For what? For romance. I need to build a little boudoir. Let us depart. And Hang speak on. of your ill-favored constructs no more. No, I want I want you to tell One me what the surprise is. One final by way of muck and mire. Then this path of beginnings shall fork unbounded into whatever endings you seek. What about this? Ruin the surprise. No! I wasn't done, I'm done with you, you little punk. I mean, I get it that the desert is tough for food, but what did they expect me to do? Sambungan. Finally our time has come. The pale surrounds this city, an oppressive wall swallowing the buildings, advancing ever closer. The evacuations have ceased. There is no longer a shore from which to escape. No one knows what happens when the pale overtakes you. As I stand here, the air is filled with screams as the pale slips along the streets and then... Silence. I want to go to them to help them, but there is nothing I can do, nothing anyone can do. It is becoming too dangerous to remain. A few others have dared to pass through the portal despite what may lie beyond. They take their chances, but I wait here, unwilling to leave until the last second. If she returns here, she will know where to find me. Sita, Sayang, wherever you are, please be safe. 
Error. Where are we going next? What is that? A swamp? A swamp. Boots sinking into the muck. An image known by all realm walkers who've tread the swamps. Onward, maybe I can find a little grub to eat. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to like explore, but it's just little tutorial rounds, so I'll just keep on trucking, baby. And here we are in the swampage. Any berries? If not for Astaroth's decree, this trek would have been as easy as peach pie. Mm. We Fey are forbidden from consorting with your kind. And while my amity is yours, it behooves us both to move with caution. Mm. But enough prattle. Enough prattle. I am behooved and often accused of prattling. The bound guard Fey archways that align with temporal realms. As they're already acquainted with your despair, those fiends will emerge when you try okay. to leave this final byway. Right. While I know man's impulse is to flee, without pluck, you're sure to it. Once this fen is within our wake, a fine morsel of knowledge I shall bequeath. Alright. Man's so verbose that I'm starving to death while he's talking, you know? Like, start a blog and save us all some time. Ah, uh, where's some food? It's like, uh, can I eat these mushrooms? Uh, oh, that's probably not friendly. I want to enjoy the world and I'm having to scramble to survive. Just for a snack. Like, guy couldn't bring me a sandwich? What do you think a fae would give you in a sandwich? I want to say cheese and pickle. That feels like a really fae-like, you know, a plowman's? A little cheese and pickle in the bread there. By which I mean... Like... <laughs> English, like, Branston's pickle. Do you know what I mean? I... Oh. Okay, I mean, we're probably going to die, but at least we'll come back and then I won't be starving. I'm just surprised there aren't just berries everywhere. Also, the game going silent because you're hungry is super annoying. I feel like... I'm probably going to have to kill something. I can just eat these plants. Oh. Ah! Dingo! I'm starving to death and I can just stuff flowers down my gullet. Oh, well, that's what I get for, uh... Apparently I can eat seeds, too. So if I take my hunting knife out, can I... ...skin this? Oh, cool. Guess I should get a couple of those, then. Another little echo. Samungan. The pale has reached the steps of the building where we first met, with shy gazes and murmured words. The same building where I've waited all this time. But I must make a choice. On one end looms the pale, at the other the portal into an unknown world. Beyond the portal and into the realms I may find others. Perhaps they have happened upon Sita and can tell me where to find her. If not, perhaps they will find a way to push back the pale and reclaim Earth. I will search to the ends of whatever worlds I must to find her. Portal is opening. If I've chosen poorly and someone finds these writings, please tell Sita I waited for her until the last, and that I will find her in the next life. Oh, 
Romantic. Let's see what's up here, shall we? Oh, so I my my inventory. I have two hands. Like one, two, three, four, five is my right hand, and then if I hit six, is the torch in my left. That's interesting. There we are. Get a better view of things. What does this tower do? It's just ah, a chest. Do I keep going up, or do I drop down and see what's in here? But how will I get back up, is the question. I'm not equipped for such things. Da, 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 da. I mean, I don't have anything to... Oh, hello. A greenhouse card. Play this card and increase plant yield, reduce... To increase plant yield, reduce the time needed to refine plant products. Oh. An ingot. Metal ball bearings. I guess if I can find cards, I should jump down and open that chest. Let's see what's up here first. Healing solve. Um, simple umbrella. Wait, can I equip that and look cool? Like Mary Poppins? Or was it a simple umbrella wood? It says I picked it up. Mm. Was it a, um... Oh, there it is. Flimsy thatch umbrella, design of the desperate, as so many of humanity find themselves, it keeps the rain at bank and withstand little else. Durability. No, not extract. Equip. <gasps> I got a little umbrella. I wonder if it, um... Means I float. So I'll be able to... Ah! What are you doing? Are you crazy? Stop. I'll be able to um, slow it down once I get that chest. Okay. Let's go. Oh, my days. Right click does a massive lunge forward. That was not the place to discover that, was it? Now, where is that chest? Maybe down another one? It was here somewhere. I want all the loot. I want all the secrets. What's this thing? chest. Oh! Um. Right. That was... <laughs> Let's just go from the bottom. Uh, this, I'll, I'll see it this time. Won't I? Just re f retrace my steps. I think it was over this... Ah, there it is. Okay. Carved wood. Further refining lumber for channeling magic. What is that? Like a... Decoration or something? Um, leather. And some nectar. Okay. Can I climb the rope? Okay, well, I guess I'll trust in this umbrella. did not work. Your leg has broken. Right. Your ankle has been sprained. <laughs> well. Oh, what about the healing salve? Maybe if I use that, I'll feel better. Ah, I wanted to... Didn't want to extract it. I wanted to use it. Okay. Maybe I can make one. I worked out how to do 
third person. F5, in case you're wondering. There we go. Hobbling along with my broken leg and my little pinhead. In so much pain. Ow, ow, ow. Every time I walk. Or do you prefer third or first when you're playing and also when you're watching? I feel like generally third person is less motion sicky for people watching. Um, so I'll try and use this a little bit more for, for, for those of you watching. I find first person more immersive. I feel more like it's my vision and we're like inside the character, you know? So I'll probably, I'll mix it up, but when we're just running around, I'll do this, because I know in first person that can get a little jarring. Um, I genuinely don't know what to do about my broken leg. The timer is down there in the bottom left, and it's halfway through. <laughs> There's still so much time to pass. Okay, that was the next one. Makeshift caplet. What's a caplet? Is this an item of clothing? A makeshift caplet. Ah, it is. A makeshift caplet. Right. Which has gone where? <laughs> okay. Right. What was the advantage of that? More maximum health, rain resistance, heat resistance, durability. I feel like my jacket is only slightly worse, but... Oh, now I can see my backpack, too, which is kind of cool. Wait, could I not see that before, when I have my jacket on? Oh, no, I could. Why wasn't it standing out to me, then? Weird. I'm gonna rock the jacket because it looks way better, to be honest. Um, acquire a healing salve. Prepare for the coming fight. And acquire roasted meat. So I'll probably want a campfire. And uh, I have some meat, so we're gonna put some fuel in. It's raining. Ah, this is where I make a healing salve. I see. Okay. Wait. Did the rain make this go out? <gasps> Maybe it did. Why, of all the times where it just start to rain? Do I need to build a shelter over it? It's only picking up, isn't it? That's funny. That's cool, I like that. Alright, hang on. Let's see if this helps. I'm gonna be really impressed if it does. Oh, that's so, that's actually really cool. I like that. So you can't just like make a campfire in the middle of nowhere whilst it's raining. the little things. Okay. Now, if I put another meat in there, can I not up the quantity? Ah! There we go. Cooked over an open fire, meat takes on a rich, smoky flavour. Lacking many culinary comforts, such simple meals have become beloved staples in the realms. Now, with bones and fibre, we can make three healing salves, which is exactly what we need. Or as they say in Italy, salve. And also up north. Whilst that's cooking. Okay, grab those. So now, extract essence dust from items in your inventory, opening the context menu and selecting extract. It wants me to... Out of my tent. Shank, shank. 
Backstab, backstab. Roguish behaviour. Stamina is a real issue, isn't it? Blimey. Runs out very quickly. Okay. Acquire... Essence dust. So if I extract from some seeds... And some... Sticks. And these bones... Use essence dust to restore any worn tools or clothing in your inventory. Okay, so if I wanted to do my knife repair, does it just like that? The map shows realm walkers discovered points of interest. Okay. Portal. Gotcha. Coming out of the rain, darling. You'll rust out there with your pretty little helmet. You've stolen life to preserve your own. A necessity, lest it become a vice. One imbibed by men like dandelion wine. Now, I've led you about around. Through bog, through bush, through brink, through briar. And forthwith, a temporal realm of abeyance awaits. And so too, Nightingale. First you must oblige your inner essence and choose the landscape that beckons. Oh, ah, okay. No need for words. I want to go to a On forest. The, court, the mystery of the hope. Play your cards, but beware. The bound will storm once the archway rouses. Crack their pitiable little skulls. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure we'll be fine. Have you tried talking to these fiends? Maybe offering a hug or several? Now, if I was a portal, where would I be? Over this way, apparently. Oh, it's right there. Okay. In the shadow of the portal, I find myself ready to head to the forest. Obviously a forest. Why would I pick a desert? And this swamp doesn't seem up to much snuff either, to be honest with you. Look at me just holding my cooked meat like a Subway sandwich. Like I'm going off to work here. I am going off to work. Okay, an abeyance card. What's that one? Play this card to seek a realm of minimal danger, suitable for the construction of an estate. Not even Nightingale's oldest magicians or magicians have been able to trace the origins of this card. Is this like my home... Area. Oh, what's that? Remain vigilant while the realms These are the fabled lie. realms I've heard so much about. Stoma, once I said... I'll read this after, because didn't you say once I open the portal, like... Dudes are gonna show up. Ah. Right. Oh. Goblin army. There goes the stamina. Do you guys mind if I have a little snack? Thanks. Mmm, jalapenos and pickles. Ah, who's the healing salve? I honestly don't know if my knife's the best thing. What about my axe? Oh, that's much better. Okay. So the hunting knife's for chopping people up. Really, I should be hitting them with that. It's quite hard to pick stuff up in uh, that person, I will say that. Right, onward, good to go. Jodie Foster, contact. Through I go. Walker, your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Survive the realms, and rebuild all that has been lost. Shooting animals in the heart with a ranged weapon is often fatal. Well. 
a vegetarian playthrough. I feel like you probably could do that if you wanted to. I'm not actually a vegetarian, but I would like to be someday, I think. I love animals very much, but my diet's already really difficult because I don't eat wheat, so it's tough. I already struggle to eat most days, to be honest. It's, like, very annoying. I get so bored of my food. Um, blah, 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 blah. Continue. Oh, very pretty. It's not terrible, by the way. It's just because I kind of get tired of cooking. There's much worse sort of diets to have and didn't mean to complain too much there. Uh, speak with Puck. Ah, we made it. With the byways left behind your His voice is so ended. much louder than everything else. I bid you welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. Okay, thank you. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey. Left in limbo. Not unlike you. How fitting. Mm. And thus, here is yours to put down roots. But beware. In short time, darkness will descend. And with it, Stygian perils. Laying foundations will keep you intrepid, child of Earth. While you play carpenter, there are nooks in these surrounding wilds. I must scrub for the knowledge I pledged. Okay. So that was the tutorial, and now it's said it's open, so you can invite other people to play. So once you get to this point, if you're going to play with friends, this is where it happens. And this looks like a, quite a pretty area. It's very green. I like the look of the grass. Let me hunch like that, sweetie. You're going to get a terrible crick in your neck doing that. Now, instead of going deeper into the deep, dark woods there, let's head up this hill and see if we can't find a nice place to claim for our land. Building an estate. Khan. Can. Kern. Now, there is a can in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and it's one of the comments that was got the most on that was, like, that I was saying can wrong. And I swear, I looked it up as to how it was pronounced. And it told me. And we're going to do it again right now to make sure. Can pronunciation. Can. Can. I, that's how I was saying it. Anyway. I feel like sometimes just the English pronunciations of things are very different. And people pick on me for them, and I'm just... I'm sorry that I'm British, okay? Um, ooh, this could be interesting down here. I would rather not be attacked by wolves right now. But somewhere overlooking this could be nice. If there was any flat land to build on. What about right on these rocks? If I built there as an estate. And then I might have a nice little... Oh, Jesus! My boy, I am window shopping for some real estate right now. I, I did not need that. My heart leapt out from my chest. That's one. Get some stamina. That was genuinely terrifying. Headshots do more. Yeah, they do. Okay. And we've got a block. Wow. That was, that was actually cool. Genuinely, from what I saw of this game, I thought the combat was going to suck, but that was pretty good. It's actually not bad so far, as clunky as it can be. Can you? There we go. Why are you not... We're not getting anything. Okay. What am I getting there? Essence. Okay. Dust. Alright. Bones. 
Now, let's go over to where I was looking at for my lovely new house. An estate. Sounds awful fancy, doesn't it? Build your estate. Overlooking this pond, I reckon. What's that over there? Maybe I should explore a little... <gasps> Whoa! I was not expecting this big drop. Hmm. Oh, a rainbow. Did you see it? Look. It's a different colour. Okay. Maybe this is a little bit precarious for me to... You know what I'm like. I'm going to just forever be wandering off of here. How to play wet. Oh. Okay, let me... Is that a big statue of? I'm going to watch where I step here. What is this? It looks kind of scary. Rested meat. A fey chest. Healing potions, restful potion, veiled potion. Okay. Not expecting me to read the ingredients, are you? Another little chest here. Potions. It's over the hill. Beach. Half of a ship. It's a ship, right? And then wasn't there another half up that hill? So that's what we were looking at, was half of this ship split in half. That's cool. It's like interesting mystery lore. A ship out here in the woods. What cast it in half all the way up here, yonder? You know? What? What are you? Little boars, little piggies. Okay, so up there is a potential one. We come around here. Uh, I want some flat. What am I hearing? Why does it sound like combat music? I want some flat land to build on. What's this? Sort of like an old. Mech or something, a metal thing happening. Watch up here then. I should be able to get a better view. Ah, yeah, there's the rest of that ship. We should go check that out. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's like some flat land, but also looks like there's some interesting stuff. Are those like golden statues by the ship? Hmm. Okay, well, let's check out this half first. The sun do be going down. Mummy needs a place to sleep. How to play Bastille of Intellect. Bastille. Whoa. Should I have some of my meat. Activate mechanism, a puzzle piece. Puzzle core. I mean, it's got some, making some very cool sounds. <gasps> Look at these little guys. Hello, mate. Hi. So if you... Activate. Um... Oh, 
another one. I made them red. Probably didn't want to. What are you doing? Come here. Whoa, it's a big jarring steel gun. Okay. But what if I push a different one? This one. Ah. So it's like an order, and every time we get it wrong, them appear. See what this how to play thing said in the guidebook about this. A hope echoes look locked within a Fey structure. Fey pillars in the area pulse in a sequence. Memorize and repeat the sequence for a reward. Oh, it's it's doing its thing. It's like a memory. Okay. Whoop. Okay, that one. And then that's it. Okay, so let's see. So it was this one first, right? Come on, mate. I ain't got all day. Okay. Wamp. Wamp. Weep. So if I go... Wah. 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 completion of an encounter in a realm, you may be awarded a favor. Select one of three favors to earn. Upon selection, an awarded favor will provide you with a bonus or benefit for a limited duration. Watch out for hope echoes that spawn in an encounter area and gain these benefits. Use them to gain an advantage in exploring the realms. Okay. literally was just like, yeah, you got a phaser. Okay, thanks. So we got a duelist card. Increase the damage you deal. And an amphibious card. Increase your swimming speed. So I think you play them when you go into a realm to explore. And it kind of shapes the realm that you go into. Um, and gives you different buffs, I guess. Conveyance infusion range damage. Treasury card. Increased chances of finding essence. Depending on what you want each time, I suppose. Well, let's continue the search for some flat land to build an estate can on. Khan? Let me go down to that other ship, because that was some good flat land, but not very high. Enjoying my time with this so far. I know we're only just out of the tutorial, so we'll see how it goes. And I am a fan of survival games, good and bad. The survival genre has a lot of bad games. So honestly, anything that is playable, a survival fan will enjoy. <laughs> like, we're just like, cool, it's like working and I can collect things and cut trees, awesome. We don't need much more. Look at that tree up on a plinth like that. But, you know, I like everything at first, to be honest. I'm a very positive gamer. And, um... But we'll see after a while what I think of it all. 
Okay, so there's like a ready-made sort of camp here. And then what's one of these? Like a dungeon or something? Ah, Sir Marcus, a most timely arrival indeed. A harsh man of middle age gave a wave and a soft smile to a younger man, drawing closer atop a tired steed. Well, I came as soon as I received your missive, Knight Commander. You have a delivery for me to make. That I do, a rather old document that was much better cared for in the Regency's hands than sitting in the ever-dampening halls of this old shipwreck. Sir Marcus dismounted, taking in the view ahead. I've yet to see it myself. Rather ingenious of the Fae to leave their knowledge so clearly marked, yet so well hidden. Quite so. Follow close. I'll show you through the gate. With a flourish, the Knight Commander parted the glimmering magic and entered the darkness beyond, Sir Marcus close on his heels. What's this? Ah! Not allowed in yet. Beach house. Could be nice. Sound of the ocean. Lap, lap, lapping away. Got a statue, garden gnome already. Lots of crystals to pick over for the crystal girlies to come over and collect, you know. Um, woods behind me and a glorious old shipwreck. I, I This could be nice. I'll, I'll do it here for now. I'm sure you can move things. An estate can. I need stone blocks. Stone blocks. Okay. Where do I get a stone block from? Let's collect some stone first, I suppose. With my pickaxe. What's this? Is that not my pickaxe? I made a pickaxe, didn't I? Makeshift mining pick. Maybe it's too high level. Mm. Ah, that's how we get stone blocks then. Gosh, I'm strong. An estate. C -c 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 it suppresses creatures, apparently. From human influence, reduces aggressive creatures nearby. Right, well. Placing your estate can marks a safe area to build your estate. Should you succumb in the abeyance, you'll be returned to your estate. Your tenacity overrules the gusts of fate. And this fay you have pleased. Okay. Yeah. And? Settled here, you'll soon wish to venture farther. The unending lure humankind so often succumbs to. Should you hear that siren call, you'll require unbraided cards and the power to play them. Right. Fortunately, both are close at hand. And here is the knowledge that Robin's friendship affords. Across this realm lie sites of power sealed by your kin long ago. Forsworn by Fay, even longer still. There are many sites, each granting access to ever more distant spheres. Nearest, though, the Antiquarian. Formidable enough for one so green. You must first gain entry. Passing through a seal forged by those last children of Earth, who claimed reverence for our infinite wisdom. They, more than most, knew the gravity of a contract. Their gates bar access to those unworthy, but I see that strange. Once within, delve ever. Hurry now, flesh. Okay, get to the point, my guy. Um. The voice acting's good, but the volume is all over the place, and I keep sort of having to turn it up and down. Um, right, so there's a place to go through. So I have to, uh, to unlock the antiquarian site of power, I need a better gear score. I need to be worthy. I'm gonna craft stuff. 
I wonder if I put this on, if it puts my gear score up. It doesn't. Okay. So, what can I craft for a gear score? I should make a little tent on the beach first. We're crafting. We're crafting. I love it. I love it. Why can I not make you? Oh, hello. I have enough sticks. So why you not make? My gear scorch went down. Oh. When I equip something, it goes up. Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Ah! Right. Odd little delay you have there. This looks like Mummy could use some rest, eh? We'll be referring to myself as Mummy for the duration of the playthrough. Just kidding. Don't click off. Right. There's my bedroll. And I'm gonna have a little campfire if I can. An angling basket. Does this catch fish? Some more stuff. A tanning station, a campfire. I'll put this here. There we go. Sheltered grit from a structure not on a stable surface. Oh. Soggy, exposed. <laughs> it looks pretty stable. No? It's not stable. It's not stable. It'll do for now. It looks like I've unlocked already how to um, build an actual house. Let's get some rest. I was tired. Maybe that's why my stamina was so bad. Put a little bit in there. Just to get some warmth. Now... What else? So this is my... I can build a house now, basically, if I collect enough stuff. Finding things, climbing picks, rock marbles, a sling bow. So if I make straps in a wood bundle, I need to make a simple workbench here with a wood bundle. Maybe if we chop a tree down. Oh, it's some heavy rain. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> How far you've come, and yet how little you possess. Is it an ascetic purity that keeps thee bound to such homely presentation? No. It seems more apt that thou merely remain blind. Am I getting hit by hail? Be thine. Across these wilds, your kind have proliferated with haste. Industrious and more than willing to avail amidst your ever-growing need. Okay, dude. I'm, like, getting hailed on. <laughs> Hold the umbrella up, silly. Okay, so the umbrella is actually shielding me, but it's I'm not holding it above my head anymore for some reason. Wow, these are some big bits of hail. I got hailed on last year by some really heavy hail as I was taking my walk and coming back from it. The heavens just opened up. And I love walking in the rain, especially really heavy rain. It is like... Make it biblical. I love it. And then it started to hail. It was incredible, honestly. It was one of these sort of moments, you know? And you sort of take it in and you just feel like, oh, this is like... I almost feel like I'm getting a sign at that point. It's usually when I'm going through something and it's like insane storms. And I take it as a passing of it, usually. Kind of a thing. As silly as that may sound, I kind of embrace those things in life. Um, 
Right, I'm gonna chop some trees, man. Bam, 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 bam. Feels good. In a way of, you know, if you were going through something, my, my favorite thing is just to look up, look at the stars at night, but also being out in nature in a heavy rain. It just it washes stuff off of you. I don't know. It's something about it that's very special to connect with and to ground you. I'm sure there's reasons for that, both scientifically and other that people would have. For me, it's just that I know that that's how it makes me feel. I don't subscribe to any sort of belief system around it. But how healing nature can be to our psyche is very important. In different ways. Different ways for different people. Wait, is this a portal? Have I built right by the portal? I have. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was unintentional, but there it is. I won't have to go far to go on my adventures, at least. Can you pick these up? I wonder if these are a different type of wood. Oh, also a wood bundle. What's this? Glowing. Oh, that's my estate rock. Why is it glowing there? Hold for options. Inspect. Creatures suppressed. Rename. So I can also have names here. The estate of Omlele. So we head in here. And try and dry off. Okay, so let's make a bench. One bench. Building traits. Modify the function of certain structures. The environment and nearby structures determine which traits the structure has. A bedroll is more effective in a warm, dry place. Positive and negative implications to traits. View to look out for envi environmental traits like grit and expose, which apply to based on location. Benches gain grit if they're built on bare ground. Ah, so I need to build a foundation. Okay. Realm walkers can add positive traits with light and warmth. Some structures have augmentations, impact their effectiveness, and create new traits. Sure. Now, if I go in here, I get access to more things, do I? So I need to make straps. Refined from hide, so that would probably be in the tanning place. More plant fiber. that enough? Sure is. I know this is like super rough, but we're just gonna go with it for now. Build a house another time. I don't want to, you know, spend too long uh, doing that here. That's how you make straps. Takes a little bit of time. It wants me to unlock the simple sewing bench from the Essence Trader. So I've got to go find the Trader. Okay, it's a bit hard to collect the item and then craft another strap. Is the Trader on the map? Ah, Wilhelmina Sass. Wilhelmina sassy pants. We've got to go back on ourselves up here. We'll see what Wilhelmina has to say. Oh, this is cute. Could have built here too by a little waterfall. Now, you know what they say about waterfalls? Always check behind them. Never know what secrets they might be hiding. Nothing. That'll be my shower. Okay. Ow. I didn't want to have to 
do that. Did you not what, learn from what's happening to your kin here, you know? Maybe you're not up here. Maybe you're just around the other side. Oh, hang on. Who are you? Hello. Ah, oh, a visitor. You're the only fine soul we've happened upon in this realm, and your appearance is a most welcome surprise. Who might you be? A realm walker. Of course, I should have seen it right away. A talented, well-traveled realm walker is just what I had hoped to find. There are a great many new faces in the realms as of late, with a great many stories to tell. Collecting such stories is my trade. Bill Helmina Sass, columnist for the Nightingale's finest newspaper, The Sunday Courier. Overjoyed to make your acquaintance. Now, if you're in need of more material services, nourishment, equipment, protection, I'm certain my companions can provide. You mentioned protection? That I did. My esteemed colleague here is always looking for work, and I'm sure they're about somewhere. They're a quiet sort, but I'm sure you'll find them a capable combatant, builder, roustabout, whatever you might require. And I imagine they'll be quite willing to accompany you once their work here is finished. Oh, so I can have someone uh, work for me? I forgot about that. You can get NPCs that work on your estate. It's all coming back to me from when I was making videos about this game. Okay. That seems reasonable. Complete tasks and recruit them. Recruited survivors help harvest resources, build structures, carry things, fight off enemies. Realm walkers may also elect to equip survivors with better equipment. Enable the use of storage containers. Okay. Uh, having seen much of the wider realms, I'm sure they're each some fine tales. We could pry out once you bring them back here. Any new traffic, no matter how meek, is good for business after all. Wait, if no one hears to your liking, there are plenty of wanderers in the realms. Oh, right, okay. Okay, heard any rumors lately? You'd like to hear something more current? I can indulge you. I'm sure a reasonable realm walker like yourself can understand in such turbulent times I cannot ply my trade for free. I'll have a little peek at the echoes in that hermetic guidebook of yours in return. The chance to peek directly into another's thoughts is one I would relish. Right. There are a great many of your fellow realm walkers about, as near as the forest antiquarian realms, so you may wish to be wary there. I met one Aurelio Avocado Ortega in my journeys, and never have I seen someone so clearly plagued by gold sickness. The influence of magic can wreak havoc on the mind. Despite his rather dull sensibilities, I've no doubt the man is mad. Interesting. That's all for now. So I can hire Anna, apparently. Let's have a look at you, Anna. A survivor nearby needs help in completing a structure. Complete it for a reward. Let us begin. What would you like me to do? Hmm? Want me to chop a tree? Are you following me? No, you're just giving me an evil eye, apparently. I don't see what structure you're building. Not a structure here, I'm confused. Right, let's talk to the essence trader. Oh, is it these? You're just trying to build the bedrolls? Why are you... Babe, you just need sticks and fiber. Why are you chopping down entire bloody trees? Sorry, I mean, come here. Let me show you how it's done. I was a little short there with you, and I apologize. I need some plant fiber. Come on. Sure there's some here somewhere. I feel like I'm on Survivor. There we go. 
Bam, 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 bam. What's this? A magic chest with some essence. Was that what you wanted? There you go. For hire. Recruited. It's dangerous to travel alone. Fellowship. So then I can manage your inventory. Do what I want. Can we take that hat off? <laughs> there we go. Right. You're out to have be hatless and barefoot. Uh, and furthermore, we shall, I want that jacket and I want those and I want that. All right. Perfect. You work for me now. Essence Trader. Right, what did it want me to buy? Simple Sewing Bench. Homer. Simple Sewing Bench from Homer. Ba -da -ba -da. Sewing Bench for 55. There we go. We also sell bundles of equipment, uh, resources, consumables. Saw table, smelter, mortar station. Different types of roofs. Okay, so I just need to get my gear score up. Here we go. It was just a just a prank. You can uh, wear this stuff. Wait, is that pretty nice jacket actually? Um, was were these your pants? Uh -huh. see, I, I see I'm, I'm giving these to you and you're not putting them back on. Is there... Oh, wait. I should... I Do I... Do I dress you? I dress you. Okay. One leg in there. Pop that on your head. Put your boots back on. There you go. Wonderful. Right. You coming with? Going back to my estate now. You must unlock a gear score of 20. I know. Let's head home. He said, let's head home. Oh! Right. You can stop just chopping every tree you see. It's, we're pretty far from home, so it's uh, you don't have to just take out your frustrations on everything. Now... <clears throat> Don't tell anyone this, Anna, but uh, we're going the wrong way. Can we fast travel? No, right. Okay, you're awfully close with that axe. Um, <clears throat> she's right behind me, isn't she? Right, hello, sweetheart. Um, we're going to turn around now and go back the other way, but try not to make it too awkward. Yes. Yeah, I know we've just met, but... I... <laughs> too soon. Let's um, head back. Um, what is that? A mystical sort of elf. Wow, it's just like knocking trees over. How you, uh, that's how you lumberjack, Anna. Anna, careful. It's knocking down all the trees. I mean, a way to get some easy wood. How cool. This is just... Oh, that's... Even that's more than I can carry. Let me extract a couple of them. Yeah, you keep whacking the tree, babe. That's, you know, just for a magical elk deforest an entire line. It's wood everywhere, but you, you pat away. It's getting late, darling. I must get back to my wonderful estate. All 
all right. Do you have like a big mansion that we're going to live in since you've hired me to be worker, like butler and assistant and all that? You must be pretty well off. Uh, sh yeah, sure. Sure, I do. Um, you know, it's a work in progress, which is really, I brought you on early. Uh, you're in, you're in on the ground floor. And, uh, we'll just... What is it? Well, I just... Why did you kill that creature and then not even harvest it? Anna, if we're going to kill things around here, we are going to use what we kill. It's literally a baby piglet. You're a monster. What? It were, it were under my feet. It were in way. Right. You see what you've done? You've turned the sky and the oceans red with your bloodshed. Now, come on. Let's continue. Unbelievable, honestly. Like, you've left a bit. You're not even picking everything up. It was just the bones. We don't even need it. Yes, we do. We need everything. We make use of everything, okay? Now, that's what awaits us. As I say, it's a, it's a work in progress. And, um... You'll see. Come on now. Let's head back. Magic mushrooms. I nearly died last time going through there, so we're just gonna go around. I wonder if there's any significance to this red sky. Bloody hell, it gets dark quickly, doesn't it? Almost out of nowhere. Hopefully not like other survival games where nighttime brings all manner of beasts out. Because, uh in trouble. Let's check we're going the right way. Okay, just up. The other side of there. Yeah, my favourite hobby is just hitting trees. Alright. Fill your boots. This torch? Rubbish in third person. So we'll go into first with it for now because it's doing nothing but lighting me up. All right, I think this is home. There we go. Here we are. Home sweet home. Anna, darling. All right. It's that tent, is it? Yep. That's that's it. All right. I mean, at least the view's nice. All right. Don't kill those deer. They're, uh, you know, part of the estate. Pets, if you will. Let's, uh... Make yourself at home. And, um... Carry on. And enjoy. Right. <laughs> oh dear, she's so disappointed in me. You don't have to just destroy everything in sight. I mean, that's right. You're a little close. And that's... I mean, what if that landed on my tent? You know? Can you just chill with the chopping of things? Can I tell you to stop? Hmm? Maybe I should just take your axe away. Apparently I can't do that. Oh, no, I can. Who knows what you'll do if I did that. Oh, we're a bit cold. Right, come in and get by the fire. It is night time. Time to sleep. A long rest. We haven't had one of these before. So you sleep at night time. Bloody hell. Did you stand there the whole night? Yeah, making sure you're sleeping soundly and safe. Just peering over me with an axe in your hands. Yeah, never let go of me axe. Right. Let's get this. I'm gonna make some stuff. Now I learned how to make the sewing bench. So I need some fiber. 15 of. 
And then I think the stuff that I can make, it looked like a set of armor. That's probably going to up my gear score and we can go through the thing. Uh. Clear the enemies. How to play. Much to learn. Interesting that the crystal the crystals weren't red before, right? Hang on, let me see what this how to play is, if that's something has been triggered here. Hostile creatures occupy a nearby point nearby point of interest. Near boy. Um okay. Like these crystals were just white before, I think. What does it mean? Summing bench. And in here, I can make clothes. With leather and fiber, we can make a shirt. Did we make it? I think I already took it because I was standing near it. Did I? Simple shirt. I put the simple shirt on. See what it looks like with my top off. Um. Right. What are you wearing? Yeah, I know. It seems it's odd. I guess it's a design choice. Um. Sure. So over my shorty shirt. Okay, it's, be it's better for me. So I guess I'll keep wearing it, even though it looks absolutely ridiculous. Let's take my gear score up to seven. I thought it would probably do more, but it has not. We need leather and fibers. Keep making a set, probably get us there. Right. So, crafting's going back. Don't look at me, Anna. Don't look at me. The crafting's going well. I've made a head wrap, which looks good, don't you think? Yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah, and um, we're sort of ready to go, I think. I've, Got my gloves on. And I uh, just need to make maybe a couple more items of clothing. I wonder if one more might do it. Um, okay, so I've made that stuff, so I actually need some more leather to make some pants. So we're to go hunting. Let's try this out. Oh, okay. Not bad. Ah, actually. Yep, bad. Bad. Gonna be wanting to go melee for wolves. I really need hide to uh, finish what we're doing, but... I'm surrounded by deer, but I don't want to kill them. I love deer, and look at the little baby. I just... I'll find wolves. I just did a loop of my area trying to find some to kill, and I come back, and there's just an absolute family of deer here. Like, all the hide we could need right here. So much hide. And, uh, I, just, I don't know. I'm sure I will eventually, if I don't find reliable sources, but... For now, it doesn't feel right. This is, you know, this is our land. This is home. Uh, I wouldn't just be capping all the wildlife in sight if I really lived here. <gasps> There's some wolves. Perfect. And I know it's not any better that it's the wolves, but it just... Because they tried to kill us, it feels 
more acceptable. And I like wolves too. So. Something's gotta go. Item is breaking. Okay, repair. Okay, it was so hard to pick that stuff up. Yeah, a couple of hide from there. Three should be enough to get us the score that we need. Two types of gamers, you know? The ones that'll be like, I don't want to kill that thing. And then others who would have just straight up pelleted the baby in the head as well to uh, get the hide. I need these resources. And there's nothing wrong with it, because at the end of the day, it's a game. It's digital. I just, so it just, for me, I can't. I don't know. It's like the mean options in RPGs. I have a hard time with those even. Okay, let's make this leather. Leather. Can I make one? Maybe it's a different kind of pelt? No, it takes 40 seconds for one. It takes two. Oh, and I only had three. Wow, so I only... Okay, yeah, hide is an issue. To be honest, I'm going to cook this meat. Different types. There's prey meat and predator meat. Hmm. Okay. Probably need some more hide after this. Let's craft this into. I feel like I've made the, uh, the whole thing. I'm wearing... Oh, I have makeshift because I have to make the caplet. I only have a makeshift caplet on. Okay. Simple pack. 19! So actually if I put the shirt on, I would be done right now, but... The shirt looks so bad that I want to wear my worst one. So... I will do that <laughs> before, just so I don't look like an absolute pleb. Um, I wonder if it would still let me in though. I guess we could find out. I feel like it's not too far. Where is the place that it wants me to go? Dun, 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 dun. Ah, is it the, uh, no. Let me see. Uh, the Antiquarian Major Card, unlocked through completion of the Site of Power. Antiquarian Site of Power. Antiquarian Site of Power. Um, ah, it's where I recruited you from, my dear. Okay, we have a little rest. I'm gonna grab one more thing of hide. Don't wanna go all that way and have to come back. I'll just see if there's any more wolves up here. Okay, ran into some boars which we can use. Let me repair this. And these should give what we need. I think we need one more. She's just deforesting the area, and I don't know how to tell her to stop doing it. Like, give, give, give me the axe. Give it to me. Come here. Give me that. Stop it. Pick mushrooms. Okay, pick a different hobby. A druid's lost journal. The lost journals of Morpheon Lele from Baldur's Gate. 
I believe I may have found the answer to a great conundrum of we druids, though I've spent my life toiling these long years alone in the realm, searching for spirits, speaking to them as I am able. There are a great many that have remained ever beyond my grasp. Kanu, Booker, Elder, Eoton. They turn their backs to me, deaf to my pleas, yet I hear tell of a spiritualist by the name of Ludovine St. Clair, roaming some distant swamp antiquarian realm. She works besides both hermetics and my fellow druids, and has made incredible strides where I have failed. Truly a curious woman. Truly a curious woman. <laughs> Ways that you would love to hear yourself described, right? I feel like most people would love that. She's truly a curious woman. Initially, I doubted her legitimacy. Charlatans are bound to threaten the legacy of the old ways, but now I stand convinced. She is a practitioner of Louisiana voodoo. Wow. Sorry, in character. Louisiana voodoo. Something beyond the scope of my knowledge, though it intrigues me greatly. Louisiana. That's cool. I love that stuff like that's in here. Her beliefs bear striking resemblance to my own, focusing substantially on communion with spirits. Where we have our ceremonial dress, floor-drawn symbols, ritual dance, so too do the Voodians. I hear Ludovine may even utilize methods abandoned by druids. Mayhaps I keep an ear out for further rumors, see what more I can learn. Ludovine is a great name. Ludovine. Luda! Okay got the echo let's get these wolves and we're good to go oh that one's just nestling down for the night do i have enough um what did they get me hide i don't recognize the icons yet so that's why it's just taking me a bit of time here oh i have enough do you know what no we'll leave those they're just living by that little statue and sleeping they're like a little family Oh, I was going to check out that. Sorry. Memory. Got distracted by the uh, wolves. Let's see what's in the observatory since it's raining. I'm quite hungry too. A berry. I want to look like super old timey, like Victorian steampunk style. That's going to be the kind of outfit I would love to go for in this. We're going to try and craft something like that. A Bastille of Might. Sounds like it would be a like it would be a fight. So I need, I guess, these only open at different gear levels. Maybe I'm not sure. So we're at the thing, but I can't go into it. It's protected by one of those electrics. Yeah, it's pretty stormy, isn't it? Yo, this thing looks... Have I crazy from this angle? Have I been here? Oh, it's hailing. What is this? Through all of the rain? This looks absolutely nuts. It's a giant skull. What? There's scaffolding here. It's like a temple. Wow. Now this is a place to build a home. It came at last in the usual fashion. I was in the midst of a fitful sleep when suddenly I appeared to stop before a thick wall of fog. The wall rolled up in front of me, and I saw a dark and ethereal scene. There lay a cavern formed of slick rocks and stalactites. The floor below was coated in water, and in it floated the reflection of glowing amethyst fungi. Almost in the centre of the shallow lake was a flat platform of rock, scarcely peeking above the water. Suddenly, upon that rock appeared a gigantic humbaba. Its eyes shone red and wickedly, and it stared right through me as if I were a shadow. 
Several bodies ran past me then, human and eager for the hunt. Their boots splashed across the lake, their mouths opened with battle cries. But I could hear nothing. Even when I attempted a shout of warning, no sound produced. I watched helplessly as one by one they fell. Victorious, the Humbaba let out a roar, terrifying though silent. Then that sinister wall of fog returned, and I awoke with a distinct pain in my thigh and a name on my lips. Jana. Quartermain's diary? Like Alan Quartermain? They could put him in here because, I mean, he's public domain. So he could totally be in here. Um, cool. This area is pretty dope. Can I get up here with my climbing picks, I wonder? Climbing picks, climbing picks. Where are you, my climbing picks? Oh, wait, you're, in, you're actually there. You just don't look like it. nothing. Probably gonna break my leg. What's that there? Like a sword or something. Or a some scepter? It's what would be stuck in it there? Ah, it's one of these, but I just think there's nothing attached. I feel like I should try and get it. it kind of looks different enough that maybe it's collectible. Hmm. Come on. No. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Interesting. Maybe that's for something else. Grappling hook or some such. Well, this is cool. I could build here. Eventually. Oh, it's a thing of thingy. It's another thing to go inside. Still don't know what these are yet. It's actually crazy how stuff loads in, right? That was insane. I just restarted the game. Like, we load in like that, and then the animals? Like, Thanos snap back in? That's crazy. Right, what are we doing? Unlocking the card. So I believe I have a full set of simple stuff, but I'm not wearing the simple shirt. Okay. Right. Wait, what's... Why do I have all shovels down here? Well, that's a weird little bug. Okay. Let's make our way to this Antiquipacarian site of power to the north and get things going. I was recording that pretty late last night, all the stuff before this, so this is actually the next day for me in real life. And um, I was keen to get back to this. I had some other work that I had to do today, and I was like, God, I just want to go and finish this and see how the game gets, because I'm really enjoying it, and I don't let reviews and other stuff affect how I see a game, but going on to Steam, I did see this is currently getting mixed. I was surprised, because I'm enjoying it, but like I said, I guess yesterday I try and enjoy most things. I'm pretty positive about games. It takes a lot for me to kind of diss a game. I, know, I try and never bash anything, but it takes a lot for me to be like, wow, this is garbo, you know. If I play something and it's terrible, I just don't share that video because I don't think it's fun. I feel like you'd much rather watch me having a good time than trashing something. We kind of uh, unfortunately live in a world where negative views of something do a lot better at least in terms of views and clicks. Our media has realized that, you know, like everything is negative and if someone hates something, they'll get so much more traction than liking something. It's a sorry state of affairs, but... Oh well. Be the change you want to see in the world, I guess. Da, da, da. Smash cut to an hour later. This game sucks, man. What the hell? Why did I even buy this? <laughs> I 
It's the beautiful thing about opinions and stuff that you say, is it's allowed to change. You know that, right? As much as this world wants to convince you that you're not allowed to change your opinions, and if you do, you're a complete hypocrite. You said this one thing, and then X, Y, Z, other thing. It's an opinion. We're humans. Do what you want. Right. I hear wolves. Pigs. I guess I haven't made a melee weapon yet. Just this thing. Have I missed what the melee weapon? Maybe it is the hunting knife, but it does short, quick damage rather than being a weapon, honestly. Yeah, maybe it's the hunting knife. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's two pigs together. I thought, did I just kill a cow or something? I'm not even realizing. I thought it was too big to be the boar, but um, it was just two pigs together, like some sort of pig centipede. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Chess. That's what I find funny. I was um, talking about this the other day when I was actually watching some reality TV dating show. But, you know, we say, you know, people say, oh, people don't change. A leopard don't change its spots. You know, once a blank, always a blank and all the rest of it. It's, where does where, Why do people even start to believe that? People change all the time. People change themselves and their mind all the time. What someone was doing last week, and then the next week, they might be like, Oh yeah, I don't like that thing anymore. But last week you were talking about, like, it defined your personality. You as a person, and everything that you stand for. Yeah, I know, I just moved on. I read something, I got excited about something else. <laughs> you know? People change all the time. <sighs> and you can too, okay? This is a safe space. Anna, you can change. You can stop chopping trees, you can stop... Just butchering innocent pigs. And also, do you want some lunch? Did you bring a lunch? Did you bring a pack lunch? Here, have a little nibble. Oh my gosh, she disappeared. She's like a Back to the Future picture. This outfit, though. Anna. Oh, I'm so ashamed. Don't look at me. My companion can't be better dressed than me. And also, my head is so small. Alright, come on. Let's go in here. Is this it? Oh no, this is something else. A realm transmuter. I think you put cards in here and then it triggers them for the rest of the world. Something. Right? Play minor realm cards. Ah, and then they like... So if I played a tempest card, brings perpetual rain and increases the potency of your magic. Stroke the inky image of this card. Send a jolt like lightning through the body. It whispers of a darkening sky. Play this card to increase the chance of finding essence. Ink shimmering like gold. This card offers wealth in a new and volatile marketplace. Essence, highly valued by those of all creeds, can be yours in abundance. Well, let's see what happens since I have two of these. Am I crazy, or did it change the color of these trees? Did I not notice that these were purple before? What? The... Wasn't this grass green? What? Am I... I mean, I'm pretty forgetful. I honestly may have been running along blue grass here and not have even realized it, but... That was cool. <laughs> this guy never pays attention. He don't know what color the grass is. What an idiot. Okay, purple. 
purple trees, blue grass. Rich in essence. Okay, so we're back here. Is it this thing up ahead? No, it's on our left. This is the site of power. <gasps> it's up there. Okay. Let's go up all of these stairs. Good for the glutes. So I guess this is going to open for me if I have the right power. You stand now before the gateway to our first sacred site of power. He seemed to loom over us despite his short stature, armor gleaming in the fading sun, every bit of the picture of valor I had imagined a knight to be. To cross this threshold is to be deemed worthy of our ranks. None who lack the courage, the strength, the heart will pass the bounds of our ancient magic, fall to here and be forever barred. My hand shook, my breath caught, to be turned away at the precipice after a lifetime of longing. If your intentions are true, young squires, have naught but surety that you will meet me on the other side, as he calls. With stately grace, he turned from us and dispersed the glimmering magic of the gate. In moments, it held firm anew, and we approached. So let me, if I put my shirt on, then I'm definitely over the 20, and it should let me in. Oh my god, that was scary. I thought I was about to get zapped. Are you worthy, Anna? Can you come in here? What's this? Maybe I have to do it alone. Is it going to be like a dungeon? What? Why do these guys keep appearing when I'm trying to read? Oh, hello. Like, went. gone outside the thing. Get some stamina. Okay. Eh, goblinos. Deal with the ranged. Stamina. Please. <gasps> I'm nearly dead. Use, uh. Heal. Ah. Oh, I should have given you your weapon back. <laughs> One second. I'll be right with you, dear. Might have to be first person in here. Keep camera keeps going crazy. Right, here you go. You can have your axe back. Do I have to equip it for you? You'll use that to help me. Um, right, can I go back and read that thing? Because it's not the first time we've been interrupted, is it? Maybe in the codex, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Dun, dun, dun. Where is it? Wasn't a druid's lost journal, was it? Uh, an old friend. It's not showing me them. Well, okay. Guess I just won't know what happens. Down we go. Oh. I hear them. Are these the mines of Moria? I've just got to the bit reading Lord of the Rings on my podcast where they're in Moria. That really cool underground place and then the sort of big scene is about to start with the attack down there. It's so cool. I love Fellowship. It's my favorite one. Oh. Battle music? What's your favorite Lord of the Rings? Lots of people, it's Return of the King, right? I feel like Fellowship is 
not the usual answer. But I just love it. It's like the start of the journey. It's all of them coming together. I like the vibes. Hey, man. Relax with that, would you? You good? Keep on going. heavily in my ear. Isn't it funny how like every monster in every world does that Blah. sound? Blah. Like why is that a Blah. thing? <laughs> Voice artists in the recording booth. Uh, yeah, that was great. Can we get a few blurs from you? Wait, my... <gasps> my uh, companion needs help. Someone just beating on her right now. Huh. Quick. <gasps> Leave her alone. Wow. It's actually really, if you get the head especially, does so much damage. Come on, babe. On your feet. No time for taking breaks. Boink. Okay, what's the way down? What? Okay, it's creeping me out, Anna. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Let's eat a mush. Room? What? Why didn't that work? So I gave her the axe back, but she doesn't seem to be equipping it, which is a bummer. not defending me or herself. I don't know if these are supposed to be tougher. They're pretty easy, but it's the first world, so... to the base of the Antiquitarian power world. Oh. Can't wait to, like, make grenades and stuff. Also just looking forward to building. But also ready to, to lower my expectations because having recently played in Shrouded, that just has, like, the best building ever. Zombie goblins. <laughs> Item is breaking. Let me repair. I love how easy it is to repair stuff. Almost feels like you're cheating. I'm so used to having to go to a workbench and do the right thing. Oh, wait, there's another even further down. Underneath this area, even. Uh -oh. 
Oh, 122, and he still has so much health. Okay. You know, match for stones being shot at you. Dennis the Menace would be the god of this place. <gasps> I ran out of ammo right as I said it. Bink. 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 Binkums. Get bonked on. Wait. Ah, get me out of here. Third, now we're out here. Take another health. That was my last one. <laughs> These ones are so annoying. Get out of here. With your fireworks. The red magic. Ugh. Oh. So embarrassing to miss. We're doing so well. Okay, so it seems like your companions just go down and you uh, pick them up. That's cool. Get behind that. We have some meat. Should hopefully heal me up a little bit if I eat. I think if I get full hunger, maybe. Should be careful eating that many mushrooms. As squires, you've known the Red Cross Knights only as a layperson does. Slayers of beasts, conquerors of the wilds, interpreters of the inscrutable Fae. Though these legends are indeed truth, the hint of a smile. None convey our real purpose. Stewards of these lands, shepherds of our people, preventing mankind from straying farther than we are welcome. Preventing a decimation long ago foretold. This is the duty of a Red Cross Knight. His pace slowed as we approached the innermost chamber. Not a sound came from any but him, and even the tapping of boots upon stone seemed to verge on cacophonous. Though you have much to learn, you have proven worthy of that mantle. In time, our history will become your history, our bonds will become your bonds, and our enduring legacy will be yours to uphold. Did you hear that? We can pretend it's about us, Hannah, it's fine. Even though we're kind of just... Looting, I suppose. I could be a Red Cross Knight if I wanted to. Where am I going? Am I going down this hole? Okay. How deep does this go? Oh. Magical. Can you stop? <laughs> I'm already here! In the center of the chamber loomed a great mechanism, fey construction it resembled nothing I had known, even in fancy. Step forward, gaze upon our treasure, the first of many you will know in time. We each gathered hesitantly around the machine's central pedestal, beautiful and alien. Its pulsing magic captivated my mind and bid me to flee. The knowledge held within is all that separates the realms from those who would succumb to their dangers and all that shields these blessed realms from those of impure intent. Place your hands upon the altar and see the realms embrace you. Take the very fibre of their make into your mind, that you may use mere ink to pull yourself toward them. Accept this power and call yourself a Red Cross Knight. More certain than ever before, I reached forward. So we've got activate mechanism on there. That'll do this thing. Interesting. Well. Do you want to do the honours? No, it's fine. You do it. Okay. Thanks. I was going to anyway. Oh. It's a boss and I have no ammo. Fabled Automaton Knight. Helldivers ready. 
Oh, you have so much health and I'm on fire and I have no meds? Right. Anna, it would be a great time for you to pull that out. I, right, okay. Guess I'll just eat and hope. <laughs> oh god, so gonna die. So going to die. Yep, I need to go make ammo, don't I? Can I craft in my pocket those things, actually? Uh, sweetie. Those. That's what I... I have to make it at a thing. Right. Okay. I'll be back. Right. Well, wasn't expecting a boss. Probably should have been, huh? I wonder if I can craft in here. Unfortunately, going to need a workbench. Ah, oh, I just need wood. I need ten wood bundles. We actually would be able to? Oh, that's so annoying. And I can't craft that stuff, right? I need rock marbles. Oh. All right, I'm back and I've made 160 ammunitions. So that ought to do it. I'm well fed, I'm well rested. So what the hell is this for a second? The ghost bench, the real boss. Let's get this boss. Oh. Pit. Entree. Here he cometh. Oh, sorry. One, one moment. One moment. I wonder if that's your weak spot right there. So it seemed like this is definitely a ranged boss, right? Because every time we got close, we got sent knocked back at and made on fire <laughs> sorry i mean whoa manly noises not that's probably your weak spot i don't think i hit it let's see if we can get the good damage that's a little low it's a little higher oh that was another miss but yeah i feel like melee is not going to be the one I'm not getting it. Let me go first. Still doing that 30. Hmm. <laughs> it's a little janky, isn't it? This boss is not too scary, actually. Or it, you know. Ow. He said, and I took that personally. I'm only getting 33. Wait, if I hit you somewhere else, do I not do any damage at all? Nope, 33 everywhere. I feel like I'm not hitting it yet. Use a uh, meds. Don't trouble yourself, Anna. You just stay nice and warm by the uh, thing there. That's fine. It's really not doing much. is uh, a thrilling boss fight. But I'm not really playing this for the combat, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'm here for the lore and the building and the world and the farming. The collecting. The chopping of trees. It's a, it's a nice design. It's cool, you know. Ow. I feel like I'm just not hitting it. Maybe it's your face. Oh. Swish woo, swish woo. What if I hit it when it's red? Nope. Not that either. 
I mean, I guess, probably the way the game is designed, you're probably doing this with a group, with friends. <laughs> so, maybe that's why it's taking long. Bum, ba, ba. Anna just looks like she's having a packed lunch over there. Whilst I kite this around. Item is breaking. Okay. Let me repair this. Ow. Sir. Any second now. Let me try melee. Huh. 36. 41. 47. 36. <laughs> this is quicker. Just don't die. Heal. Heal. Eat. Dodge. Whack. Yeah. 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 Take that. Oh. Got him. Oh, that was. Ran out of heals, too. Good time. Got the card. Oh, and here's our little twinkle toes back. Hello, mate. Here for the affirmations. Your deed befits the title, and the wider realms are within your reach. Ah, but you feel I've foxed you, betraying no foresight of the dangers held within these walls. Listen, for I come with broom before to sweep this dust behind the door. Hmm. Though I did smirk. Watching from the shadows, I was heartened to spy that my gifts are not wasted on thee. Our partnership blooms with the seal of a most fruitful requital. Assurances in hand, press onward. Mark inky images upon paper, and so direct the flow of the interrealmic void. Might I suggest your first foray. A forest augmented by your new antiquarian knowledge. Okay. There are others like you. Lost refugees. Strangers to these fey wilds. So too are there more seasoned realm walkers who might point you toward Nightingale better than I. Point me to am I trying to get back to Nightingale? Then, with newly fashioned cards. Awaken yonder portal. And tread on toward. So he's telling me to use this card to open a new portal. So I think this is my estate home realm. Maybe I make an estate in every realm I go to. I'm not sure. We'll find out. We'll go check it out now. We'll use this card in a portal. My guy, you couldn't have, like, teleported me out. You're going to make me run all the way back? Like, use some of your little fey powers. What are you doing? So let's see what this just got as a quest. Um, where is it? Where's the quests gone? Anna, you are like against my butt, right? <laughs> what are you doing? Over my shoulder like that at my little pea head. Why am I not seeing quests? I thought there was a quest page. Am I insane? Journal. Oh, it's this. Uh, purchase refinement stations, a saw table, a smelter, and a mortar station, and venture forth. Craft a forest card and an Antikyanian card, and traverse a portal. Now that I've acquired a new realm card recipe, more distant realms are within my reach. Puck told me to bid... Puck has, has bid me return to my estate and craft a card. Ah. So I can craft that forest card now, I think. Or the antiquarian card. I just need to find our way back up. And then we shall continue. Ah, look. Realm card crafting. So I can make the forest card. I need... Enchanter's Focus. 
crafted at benches with the following traits enchanter's focus and I need paper all right we're home look what I discovered you could do just randomly whilst I was jumping down from here it's exactly what I thought it was gonna do earlier when I jumped off of that thing and it didn't do it I have to you have to space bar midair that's cool even though mine kind of looks like something that would be in your drink. God, my head is so small. Right. Um, ba -ba -bum -bum. We're back. So, we were going to make a card. I need paper. So I learned how to craft from that essence dude. Uh, oh, I can make an enchanter's focus, but I need lumber and an ingot and glass. Ah, so I need these other benches, don't I? For refinement. So I got the one for a saw table, and I'm going to need to make... Right, so it's this one first. We need a smelter, the saw table I got, and we need a mortar station. Then we can make those benches, and then we can make the card to go to whatever that next realm is. I see. Unless I already have... Realm cards. No. So we need to make the forest one. <sighs> Hi, darling. Look at us here under the umbrella. It reminds me of my first kiss. But we didn't have an umbrella. It was in the rain. But we were just in it. Together. Against a tree, actually. In a wonderful park. <laughs> I can feel your discomfort, my little NPC, my little Anna. Um, actually, was my first kiss was in the rain, uh, under a big tree, against a big tree. I know. It's kind of like set some pretty lofty standards. That to be your first kiss. A little downhill from there. Let's be honest. Right. Let's um. Just romanticize your life, guys. Morphe romanticizing his life, even when he was a teen. Just <laughs> hanging out in the rain. Oh, God, why am I sharing this right now? Right, let's make some uh, benches. Okay, so before we get to that, I really think it's probably time to build a little bit of a foundation. Let's have our house made out of um, wood, I think. Seems to be the right time to go from the tent. And we'll just make something really simple to begin with, just to get a feel for it. Very, very simple house. Until I know how grindy it is and how much it takes to do it. Might be smart. Make a door frame out of uh, wood. I'm gonna set it back. Mm, one off the porch. Now if I... Back to foundations. How's it going to treat these as we go back into that ground? Okay, so it's not going to be raised. So we'll go too deep and then we'll have it like stairs here up. So it's kind of like a beachfront property. And uh, let's make a wall. Crude solid walls that made of wood, right? I would love to do this out of stone, but I feel like collecting stone is going to be more annoying, actually. Okay, I'll do windows here on these two. Windows, baby. porch. We have stairs of stone, crude stairs up. Upper floor. Okay. Bum, 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 ba, dum, ba, dum. And then how do stairs work? In life. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I want those... Right, so I have to be... Can they not... Go up there? 
So the stairs actually have to be here. How do I remove stuff? So if I go to upper floor, I want to remove this one. I would have thought it would have been a right click, but it's not. Hold for more options. Deconstruct. Got it. So my stairway, I guess, needs to be actually like the like the. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll have. So we're gonna go. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba, and then I guess it'll just be roof, roof, roof. Okay. I'm sorry. Seventy-two wood bundles per. Uh, thing? Per... What? Wait, how many do I get per tree? This is great since my worker doesn't even want to help. I'm going to look up how to get her to do this if I can, actually. Okay, so one small tree... Gets us what? Four? Are you joking? Are you joking? Are you are you crazy? Are you quite mad? What? And now it's gone. Why has it gone down to one? I don't understand. Four. This is what? Yo, it seems like building is a grind. Oh. Wait, what? Right. Does it mean for the whole thing? Ah, it's for the entire structure. Oh. Okay. I why I don't know why it does it like that, but alright. Phew. Well that we can do. Um, let me look up if there's a way to get her to help me. Okay, so if I, I think, here's what I do, I put that, you've got a wood axe, I tell you to, okay, so that's for you, I tell you to equip it. Got it. So now you should use it? Right? Oh, sorry. Are you going to use it? Chop stuff. Ah, there we go. We got it. don't know if she has the capacity to build, but collecting wood is fine by me. Okay, I just realized something that is going to make all of our lives much easier. And I wish I'd realized this. I just found it by accident. Look, just hold E. All of those times that I've been scrabbling around in the dirt trying to loot stuff and I could have just held E and looted everything in the area. I was just like spamming to pick up wood and it did it and I was like wait is that like a random bonus like hey pick up everything no you just hold E and it picks up everything it's hilarious I mean the game doesn't teach I'm sure maybe if you read those logs it will but obviously I'm just recording I don't want to sit here reading the guidebook so I'm not a total dummy guys it is just because I'm creating content at the same time Problems. Right. Oh, oh, oh. So, how much have you picked up? Because I've noticed you've been looting a little bit. You've got some wood bundles there. Okay. Getting through it. Me and you, Anna. What a team. The dream team. My hustle and your lackadaisical approach to lumberjacking. I'd oh, love some more stamina. That's definitely something I want to... Probably one of these potions is probably stamina, right? Heat re Okay. That's weird. Heat resistance, fire resistance, frosted potion, restful. Plus four, four. Extracts into full essence dust. Stamina 50. Oh, there you go. So if I was doing like a big old focused effort. I might do it. Does it have a cooldown or... I thought it was going to land on my head. 
Stamina 50. I wonder how long it lasts for. I mean, let's just find out, shall we? Consume. Don't... Wait, consume. What is it like? It's not permanent, is it? Maximum stamina is 46. I didn't see it before. What if I consume that? Oh wait, hang on. There's something down there, but I don't know how to see how long it lasts for. I see my other potion. Anyway. I always forget to use potions in these games, so it's not too pressing. I feel like most games make it so using a potion might make something easier for you. In general, it's not super needed because they know that most people don't bother. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. I swear to God, like, every time they're done doing something, they, they're they on me like this. Can I live? Can I breathe? Please? Yes. You may well lean back and away from me. Back up. Anna. Right. You rejoin us. I have been working hard, farming away, collecting, building. As you can see in here now, I've got some storage. I've got a campfire. I've got a saw table. We've got a tanning station. Nearly said tanning salon. Those are two different things. I've got a simple workbench. I've got a sewing bench. I've got a smelter. She who smelter delta. Simple spinning wheel. Over here I've got a mortar station. I've got a masonry bench. I've put candles down. Which are giving us warmth and making things better. Okay. Um, so I can make lumber now. And I've also been able to make glass. Which means I should be able to finish this. The enchanting table. Bind magic to their equipment and crafting enchantments, infusions and charms. Affixed to equipment to grant unique abilities. The simplest enchantments are infusions. Charms are items attached to clothing or offhand items. Enchantments are the most potent of the three. Enchantments, infusions, and charms affixed to equipment. Okay, I get it. Now we can make our card. What have I got that can be used as ink? Oh, I've got some bound ikor. Ikor. Um, okay. I don't know where I got that from, actually. But I'll take it. So we need dust and paper. Now, paper I can make at the sawmill lumber thing. So we're going to make our antiquarian card. Like that. Um, oh, and I built the house. I don't think I showed this yet. Honestly, it was just a lot of back and forth. Chopping trees. Killing wolves. Collecting stuff. Wasn't anything too exciting just to, to make these. Just wood, lumber, lots of your inventory is full, and walking slowly back. Um, you know, stuff that you enjoy if you're into these kinds of games, but not necessarily something that I needed to record all of, so. All right, there's the enchanter card. We want to make a forest card, and I need a little bit more ink and paper. There we go. We're good to go with this next step here. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. What are those icons on the left mean that I'm wearing a hat and gloves and boots? Like, what do I need to know that for? I don't know. Alright, so now we want to go to the portal. We want to leave some stuff here though. Anything that's too heavy, eh? How's my inventory looking? 74 of 100. Space to leave some other heavier things in here. We've got healing potions, which are apparently quite heavy. I might leave half of these here. Oh, wow, I have 20. Okay, I'll leave 14 of them. Wait, what? I've left with three. Anyway. That should make us weigh a bit less. And I'll leave my tin ore. Oh, what else? 
Uh, that'll be fine. That'll do, pig. 61 of 100. Oh, do you know what? I feel like I should make another... Bloomin' storage thing, actually. To leave stuff behind in... What's it called? Angler. Angler's basket or something. Oh, do you know what else? I, uh, sorry, there was something else I was going to make here. I've learned how to make a fishing rod. I just need a bit of wood. So we can try... F that, that's lumber. Try fishing. Together. I wanted to save it. Fish. I'm wondering what we'll get from fishing. Okay, now... Keep the wood bundle. Because what we want is... I thought it was called an angler's basket. Angling basket. Angling. Director of the Incredible Hulk. Angling. In storage. Plant fiber. Okay, let me put another one here. We need some more fibers. I'm forever gathering resources. Rum, pa -tum 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 -tum. Just lots of this. For a couple of hours, honestly, whilst I watched Singles Inferno and ate some chicken nuggets. Was that? Bum, 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 bum. Then I felt too full to be entertaining. <laughs> you just get sleepy when you eat. I've really moved into a space of enjoying not eating very much. Where I like that feeling of not being full. And I feel like I'm so much more clear-headed. Uh, when I don't eat, then I just let it get to, not to the point of like, oh, I'm starving, but I let it get to the point of like, oh, I do need to eat something now, and then I try and eat light. But when I have anything, uh, breaded, especially, it can make me a little sleepy. But, um, wheat-free breaded as well. Wheat-free nuggies. Gluten-free. And I was actually quite tempted to order some food. I thought I'll be good. So I just made my own. Um, what was I doing? This. Okay. So I want to store everything. Anything that's heavy. All the hide. The raw gems. The ingots. Loads of bones in my pocket. Is that a bone in your pocket? You just have to be the same. Uh, the glass. Take the cells. Leave the ikor. Then the wick. There we go. So, so, we should have a fishing rod, right? Here we go. Let's see what fishing's like. <laughs> so, oh, oh, ten, three, going beaching yourself do I worry I'm just left clicking the tension is there as to a, do I maybe I turn towards it to reduce the tension that seems to be working and holding left click I don't know if you're getting any closer maybe it's right click oh nope, that doesn't do anything but my stamina is going Right. That was unsuccessful. Let's try that again. Uh, uh. Chaparral trout. I mean, it looks like I'm... Am I supposed to, like, turn away from it, I wonder? Ah, maybe I have to, like, create the tension, actually, to bring it in above. Okay. 
Teach a man to fish. Hang on, maybe I actually have to pull away from it, like real fishing? Oh. Uh, wait, can I... Uh. What if we just got yoinked in by a sea monster? I mean, it's a fantasy game, isn't it? I think I have to keep it above that line. But then what if it's like all the way? Does it snap? Okay. Ah, maintain steady tension in the middle. I'm aiming for it to be in the middle. Okay. So we're turning away from it, but not too much. Keep it in the middle. Right. Okay, interesting. What? Oh, you got away from my stamina. Well, let's see what we caught a fish. So what do we get? We can get extract from it or consume it. And then can we cook it? It's probably a roasted meat, right? Okay. So a, a source of meat. I was wondering if you might also get bones from it or something. It's a different type. It's giving about the same, though, as other stuff. But I guess if you're here and you don't want to run around looking for wolves like I've had to, then it kind of makes sense to just fish quickly if you need some food. Right? Because I have had to, like, run through forests looking for wolves over and over. Okay, we're rested. Let's go to the... Um, portal. Just here, I think. Should be able to use our cards. And see what's up. I, I feel almost like this was another tutorial, so I'm really curious to see what's through here. If we use this. Seek a realm of middling danger, settled by druids and rife with fey runes. Long ago, fey favoured antiquarian realms. Traces of their mischief and guile linger in the puzzling ruins left behind. The druids are present there, and if I use... So this is what he suggested we do. Let's open a realm. Ready, Anna? Are you coming with me? Oh. Hold. Steal yourself, darling. They've come for the fish. They're like the creatures from the descent. I've got your back, darling. Let us go. Quickly, into the, into the portal. Uh, oh, okay, I gotta clear them at first, I guess. So opening a portal is a fight first. Now it looks good to go. You are not brave enough to come with me. I will return to you. Mwah. <laughs> Kiss my strangely small head. Peck these puckered tiny lips. I may have eaten too much, actually. I did have some little apple pies afterwards. Got a box of, like, frozen... I mean, they call them churros. I never actually had a churro before, but they're basically like little apple pies. Apple pastries. And I stick them in the air fryer to pretend like they're a McDonald's apple pie. And they're quite tasty. I like apple. It's probably my favorite, like, hot pudding thing, like apple pies and crumbles. Just, mmm. So good. Oh, okay. Oh, she came with me. Well, that kiss was free, baby. Autumnal. 
very autumnal, aren't we? Hello. That archway sparking to life roused the dread in this weary head. Glad it was only you who stepped out. Hold a minute. I'd recognize that dangling chain from miles away. A realm walker's pocket watch. You carry their hermetic guidebook, too. You're no member of the Explorers League. I was given these. I suppose you'd say the same, even if you weren't. Admittedly, I wouldn't know Quartermain's newest Joyarcan... Joyarcane recruits, but I can see it in the dark of your eyes. You're an infant in these realms, a refugee fleeing the pale at hazard. Yes, we're all the realm walkers now. Aurelio Avocado Ortega is the name. Ambassador Explorer by title and 30-year realm walker by trade. While I'm resting my trotters, I've been told to make it my duty to help the lost be found, wherever you're headed. I may require that aid. I imagine so, though. I find myself in the realms by choice. Seems the recent influx of visitors did not wish for the explorer's life. Is there a way back to Earth? I'm making course for Nightingale. You're fortunate the city still breathes at all. Why is your companion chopping down my trees? It's unbelievable behavior. With the portal network dismantled, your path to the City of Magic is a labyrinth of connections with no map. I cannot get you there, but I have a colleague, shall we say, whose mission matches your own. Nellie Bly. I know a little about her concrete plans, but she was working with Quartermain, attempting to find a haven for those who have been stranded in the realms. In the realms, excuse me. How can I get her? I know where she is, but if Nellie learned that I sent an unprepared survivor on a perilous jaunt to find her, she'd grind my brain into sausage. Yet I'm also not one for hand-holding. Call me a bygone Ostiarius, but it wasn't always so easy to earn the Realm Walker title. To prove you're up to the task, what say you a series of three trials? The very same I underwent. Okay. Find more confidence. The first trial is about assessing your surroundings. There are all manner of Fey ruins in this realm, and where there are ruins, there are secrets. The Fey hide valuable essence in their architecture. Realm walkers, oft hired to extract these materials, explore these sites and return when you hold essences in hand. Okay, whatever it takes. From more experience comes knowledge. When your trial is complete, I shall be here. Off you go. Show me what you're made of. Wear these boots well, and to hell with cowardice. I guess I already have some essence, because I can just talk to you again. Returning again. I've completed your first trial. Ah, that explains you marching up like a peafowl. Oh, sorry? Have you plundered essences from the Fey Ruins? Uh... Yep, here you go. I guess I must have done that in my last place. <gasps> a spyglass! I want one. I love a spyglass. I call those a peep scope from Ark. We're peeping on people. Right. I've given you an essential realm walking tool, a spyglass. I have fond memories of my first spyglass as a boy. Handle yours with care and let it bring near where I which it hides far. Right, second trial, come on. Uh, a penchant for exploring realm diving is the way of the walker. Have your realm cards at the ready. What's the trial? This trial, unlike the last, requires some preparation. It entails a touch more danger. You need to be well equipped. Improve one of your tools by crafting upgrades and infusions made by essence and a bit of dust. Then comes the trial proper. With tool in hand, seek out a fey tower. At the culmination of any such construct, find an artifact of great value. Bring it here. Alright, okay. Thanks. I'll go do that. Sure, mate. We have to craft an uncommon upgrade. Well, I can do that back at my house. But we're going to explore this little area here and see what's around. Big old island. What are these? Fey Tower. Essence Trader. What's the wolf? Why is there a big wolf on here? Hang on. Let's go see what that is. It's not too far away. Why would there be a wolf on the map like that? Oh, is it those? Is it just... No, that's not them. I've gone the wrong way. It's to the southeast. Avoid those for now. 
Bum, bum, bum. You got your own elk here too. How quaint. Okay, there's a trail. Wolf is this way. Don't want to mess around and miss it in case it's something cool. Let's see. Should be straight ahead. Oh, let me use my brolly. Brolly. Mary Poppins, step in time, step in time, Mary Poppins. Ah, oh, baby pig. Ah, baby pig. Um. Oh, the wolf's on the move. Should be straight ahead of us. Wait. Stag, I see a pig. No piggy. We're busy, pig. I haven't come here to ravage nature. But you've left me no choice. Once my stamina's back up. Let me tell you. Look away, O oh mighty elk, guardian of the forest. This is not for thine eyes. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We've angered it. Yo, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I beg, I beg forgiveness. It attacked me first, sir. Wish. Ah, get off, pig. Ah, ah. It's okay, it wasn't looking. I don't know if that was coincidence or what, but it genuinely seemed like my actions were angering that thing. Right. Where'd the wolf get to? Right ahead of us. it mean? Wait, now it's to our right. Is it that stag? Maybe it's just an animal. I think it's that stag. Huh? Does it maybe mean like a uh, magical like rare creature or something? Or like a lootable one? It should be just here. There's that doe. A doe, a deer. Oh, it's gone this way. Is it this deer? No. Wait, I see some wolves. Now it- what? How did it get over there so quick? What is happening? What are these houses? Blair Witch. Beds. Fiber. Wheat. Come on. Every time you go through a realm, it's like a new place to explore, I guess. You might get different items. Obviously, this is another forest. But there might be different stuff here, and then you would sort of open a portal to a desert if you needed deserty things. 
trees falling do damage you, by the way. That's happened a couple of times. Well, uh, that wolf is all the way on the other side of the map now. Not sure what that means. Don't have a key to know. Big old elk. Big old elky boy. Oh, it's like my last place, but orange. So let's see how we return home and sort of see what it's like coming and going from the realms. Yeah? What was that? Good. So let's, you know, assume I've come here and I'm like, all right, cool, getting some stuff. Now I want to go back. To say, what's this? What is this? What is that? It's a person. These dudes. Imagine you're one of these and you're the, the assigned light bearer. You just have a lamp on your head. Be furious. Oh, I think this is a mine. different stuff to mine. Oh, okay, let's just go back. I don't want to mine right now. We'll be going now, thank you. Okay, so like, do I have a phone home card or something? Portal in standby, reopen the portal. Ah, wait, what? Reopen portal if you wish to. You can reopen this portal. Close if you want to. Ah, so wherever you last dialed. You can go. He's just standing there, menacingly. Um, you can go to. Do I have to fight people again? Every time? Stand back, Avocado. This might get messy. Or not. But I can't... play cards when the portal is opened or opening. Well, how long does it take to open? I guess I can repair my thing. Bum, 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 bum. Oh! Right, that was... I guess because it's online, sometimes it has to do stuff. Inside each other. It's about time. Right. I wonder. That'll probably close itself in a minute, I would think.
Constancy Infusion, providing increased durability. Doesn't take too long. How'd you like my house, by the way? How'd you like my view? See, if this was in Shrouded, I would just have one big window. If this was a bit more freeform, there would be no walls in between. It would just be window, and it would just be all beach. But I don't seem to have that option yet. Now, where would you make twine right here of a fiber with plant fiber? Wonderful. I like how the stuff turns. It's kind of satisfying. Who's, um, Rumpelstiltskin, isn't it? When she, like, uses the wheel. She's like, you know, uses something like this, isn't it? Isn't that the fairy tale? Guess my name. Bob? No, it's not. I'll return again tomorrow. Or something. <laughs> I read it a couple of years ago now. Imagine someone said to you, like, guess my name, and then their name was Rumpelstiltskin. You're cheating. Like, that's impossible. Think how many how many guesses you'd have to go through before you guessed Rumpelstiltskin. It's going to be the last name on the list. Don't be ridiculous. I'll be fuming. Okay. Upgrade equipment. Oh, so now we have got new clothes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. These are my clothes, and I can upgrade them. Right. Wait, he gave me a spyglass? I thought I, like... Oh, I thought I just unlocked the recipe for it. I can use this? Aye, aye, Captain. Look at that. That's cool. You, come here. Um... Some... You look like a character from Ranga all of a sudden. Well, what was the... what's the point of that? Because you, it's this. Oh wait, I can. <gasps> oh my god, I can see stuff. I can be like, oh, I need some stuff. Wolves, deer, more wolves. That's awesome. Okay, but it doesn't actually zoom in, which is weird. You're as pretty as ever, my love. Listen, I told you, if there's no romance in a game, I'll find a way. Okay, we're back through here, so let's go and visit their essence trader. And see if they... Oh, look, a different beast. Different kind of sort of deer there. Let's see if we can't buy what we need here. It's like, pop into the shops and they don't have the ingredient you want. You have to make do. I went to the shops recently. I was trying to get taco shells. And nowhere had them. And I went in three shops. No taco shells. Everyone had the same idea. All the taco shells were gone. So I gave up on the taco shells. And I got nachos. And I had tacos. But like on nachos. I just like made the stuff. And put that stuff on little nachos. And ate that instead of tacos. And it was really good. So honestly, next time I feel like tacos, I'll probably just do it with nachos. A taco nacho, you know? <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was just saying the words taco and nacho as much as I could there, just because I know that some of the people listening are like, uh, it's taco and nacho. And I think that's hilarious. Tacos. Nachos. Taco Nacho. How many of you were clenching your fist and gritting your teeth? God damn it. Why are you, what are you calling them tacos for, huh? What's this place? Da 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 da. Some sort of tempo. 
you know what? I'll just give up on the range. It's... Oh, it's a big boy. Where's my love? There she is. Stammer, please. Oh, hang on. He had tier one essence. Darling, I need a little help. Did that actually give me... If I go in essences, what do I have? I have tier one essence! Okay, well that was what I needed to do. But we'll go to the essence trader anyway and see what they have. So anyway, like sort of thoughts on this one. I'm enjoying it. There's no denying that it's quite simple and it is early access. It might be one that if you are not desperate to play this right now, there's absolutely no harm in giving it a few months or even longer as long as you can for it to have more and be in a polished state. I obviously haven't been very far with it. I don't know how much is here. I'm enjoying it. You know, if you're looking for something to play, there are a lot of great games there out at the moment. Um, so I'm quite happy to grab it and play it for a video. Who knows when I'll hit that wall of the end of the content, you know? Um, but I, I can see how some would play this and be like, this is too simple, this is kind of jank. But, um, I mean, especially the NPC stuff is pretty abysmal, but I like it. I mean, I find stuff like that kind of charming. So, you know, charm of endless fishing. Prevents wearer from growing hungry or tired while fishing. Speaking of tired, goodness me. Yawning. A watering can? There's farming in this. Uh, I can get cards, thin veil, a utopia. Seek a realm where the sun never sets. Fear of the dark's not relegated to children. Thin Veil is... Move quickly, leap safely to great heights, and use stamina more efficiently. So I wonder if I use that card before I make a realm, if there will literally be lower gravity in that realm. That could be interesting. I will buy that. Recipe for tack. A plant box. There is growing plants. Where the... Oh, bed. And so it's a different kind of essence here that's used to buy these. And we can... Just checking it wasn't anything too different. Okay. So there's an extra next level of stuff. The saw horse, the plant pot, and the coat rack. A place to hang in progress sewing pieces. Different furniture, a new light, a wagon wheel chandelier. Okay. Wouldn't mind making a bed, to be honest. Priorities. Okay. So, just to double check, I still have... So whilst I have tier 1 essence, it's 0 0.07 of it. So I probably actually need to get more stuff, loot more stuff here, in order to make the next thing. I think. Right, that's why it's not showing up, because I have so little of it. So I need to do some hunting or some templing. Don't we, sweetheart? Come here. <laughs> Don't lean away from me. Oh, it's embarrassing. Gosh. Didn't lean away from me last night, did you, baby? Let's go. Onward. Deeper into the realms. Realm Walker. 
Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of Nightingale in a comment if you made it this far. I thought I would just throw this all in one big video for those of you who like the long ones. Hello, hashtag no context. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Click one of those videos on the screen to go on another adventure with me right now. Leave me a comment, hit the like button, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Good night.